We ran a trade hunter scan after the market closed on Thursday and came up with six candidates for potential short trades for uh, Friday session uh, or beyond uh, if indeed uh, we don't get a trading signal tomorrow. And we looked at EWW yesterday and today EEM showed up. And EEM is the emerging markets ETF and EWW is the uh, Mexico uh, index. Uh, you would want to choose between them because a trade in EEM and a trade in EWW is in fact uh, the same trade. And we'll do the correlation calculator and you can see that. Uh, we'll compare EEM and EWW uh, calculate and we can see that the correlation coefficient between them is almost 99%. In fact, it's an identical trade. And part of the keys to success in trading options and trading underlyings also is to have as many uh, loosely correlated positions as possible so you're not duplicating your efforts uh, sometimes without uh, really knowing it. So of the two, we think that EWW is probably the better candidate. Uh, it has a ATR of 1.4, uh, so that's one and a half or one and a quarter or 1.4 points. And we can see from the distribution that the 1.4 is at the high end of the range. So it's moving uh, or it has been moving the last week or two in bigger chunks than it usually does. So it's a good trading opportunity with it. And if we look at EEM, uh, we can see that EEM has a smaller ATR, only 0.8, uh, but it also is in the high end of its distribution range. So either one would move. Uh, we suspect that EWW uh, would be a better mover, uh, plus it's a higher price stock. Uh, EWW is 48 versus EEM's 30, so the options would be a little more uh, rich uh, for the premium side of the uh, of the transaction. Let's take a look at the method chart for uh, EWW, and we're going to look at the 15-minute period to see what uh, to see what's up with it. Let's put some more bars on the screen. We'll run the Hearst uh, cycle finder. And we come up with a base period of 61 and 184 is the third harmonic. So let's do a displaced moving average. Uh, we don't have 180, so we'll throw up a 190. And it appears that we still got some fairly decent uh, intersections. Uh, we want the red, the green, and the blue to intersect as closely together as possible. And let me explain what this is. It may be difficult to see, but if you look right here, you can see a slight break uh, between this side of the line and this side of the line. Uh, with the green, you can see, uh, or maybe you can't, a slight break between this side of the line and this side of the line. And the red, the break is right here. But the break represents a projection. In other words, uh, the blue moving average actually ends here. And the blue line to the right of that is a projection. So what we do is we use the uh, projected intersection and match it up with a, in this case, it's a previous projected intersection, a confirmed intersection. And we pick the low point of the cyclicality between them. And that gives us a price and time projection. And this was for, uh, well, today, Thursday, uh, late in the afternoon. So indeed, there is some kind of little cyclical top. But because the blue line is heading hard up, and again, the green line, this is just a projection as it is for the blue line, uh, we see a possibility of EWW uh, going at least a bit higher. So let's do a projection from uh, this intersection. 
uh, using the same two other points and that stretches it out to a high of about oh say 50 or a little above 50 uh, on uh, early Friday afternoon so we expect that EWW could still run a bit higher uh, maybe to the low uh, five zeros uh, but we still think we're gonna have a good uh, short trade opportunity uh, if indeed it presents itself uh, we did not get a signal today uh, so we'd be front running if uh, if we had taken the trade but this is a 130 minute chart so these last three bars represent uh, Friday this is a 65 minute chart so these last six bars represent uh, or sorry represent Thursday's trading and we don't yet have a uh, a breakthrough uh, from the breakout uh, method trading charts that we set up here and also although the percent R is deep in overbought territory uh, and we always want to sell from the northern side of the zero line uh, we still haven't had uh, a confirmation of a break below the zero line on either the 65 minute uh, or the 130 minute and in fact the 130 minute trend is still running uh, hard up so we think the trade possibility is there uh, but it's not right now so we don't want to front run this uh, so we're going to wait for the signals if indeed they come uh, but I think there's a good trade set up in EWW uh, that may present itself on Friday the 5th or if not uh, perhaps uh, early next week.